What is going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today I am back with another video. And today's video is going to be awesome. We are doing yet again another MTB challenge. If you guys don't know what MTB is, MTB is a monthly subscription tackle company that sends brand new baits to your front door every single month so you have a chance to try something new, try something old. It is a very, very, very good tackle box and I highly suggest it. I will leave links in the description below where you can get your first box for just five bucks. You can get a ton of baits worth a ton of money for just five dollars. So definitely check that out. Links in the description. There is a ton of awesome baits in this box this month. I know I say that every month, but every month just gets better and better. This month has a lot of my favorite baits, which are topwater lures. This month came with a few awesome topwater baits. Go ahead and get today started and catch some big ones. All right, you guys, so we are out here uh, on the water, ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and see what's in our box. We got a lot of awesome lures this month. I'm super, super excited. There's a couple top waters in here. You guys know I love top water. We got some craws. Ooh, nice booyah shad right here. Jigs, frogs, ducks. This box is grade A this month. We are going to, what are we gonna start with? I'm gonna try and start with the Booyah Hard Knocker. This is in shad, chrome, and it is, it doesn't have a weight on, oh, one fourth ounce. I'm gonna see if what I can pull here with this, and then maybe switch to a top water. I don't know, it's super, super hot. I think they're gonna be hitting top water later in the afternoon. So we're gonna try this little shad right here. There you go. First one on the Booyah Shad. Seems like a good fish. Whoa, seems like a really good fish. Oh my goodness. Giant P. Giant P on the Booyah Shad rattle trap. I'm just pushing these banks, running these banks quick, walking and casting. Oh my God, look at that. What a beautiful fish. Man, he is strong. We're gonna get him up. Ugh. Woo, look at that. Wow, what a fish. Look at that giant male peacock bass. Look at the hump on his head. That is huge. Oh my God, probably a solid four pounder. Three and a half, four pounder right there, boys. First one of the day. Cannot complain about that. We're gonna get the hooks out. Check this fish out, guys. Beautiful peacock, first of the day. Nice male, look at that hump. Look at those veins in there. Biggest hump I think I've ever seen on a peacock. But we will take it. We're going to throw them back. And hopefully get some more. Maybe one or two more on that rattle trap before we switch to the next bait. Alright. See you later, buddy. Man, he's in a rush. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Another one on the booyah shad oh my god i was not expecting that fish i actually was just coming in for a, a second cast and this guy absolutely destroyed it there's his buddy right there look at him look at him i hope you guys can see in the water there's two of them there's another giant right behind him i'm gonna get him out before i lose him oh, oh my god they are killing this booyah lure right now got him off the hook safely nice female peacock a little bit smaller than the last one but i'd say probably a nice two pounder really really solid fish these guys are fighting so hard you know it's it's bluebird conditions super sunny out these guys love to be out here in the sun feeding and that's exactly what they're doing really really aggressive fish today number two on the booyah we might switch to the next we'll see but this is a lot of fun let me get one more see you buddy thank you there we go. Ah, got a little guy. Oh my gosh, still super aggressive. On my way back to the car, 
just a couple more casts and I got another one on the Booyah rattle trap. Probably the smallest one so far. Oh, get up there, buddy. Wow, such a pretty fish. Man, these things are so hungry today. They're so aggressive. We're gonna go ahead and switch baits before we uh, spend all day on this one. This is what they're eating in these bodies of water. Little minnows, little shad, about this size or smaller. And they see this thing flying by them, they cannot resist it. So that's number three. Very, very pretty. Like I said, probably the smallest of the day, but damn, do they put up a fight. We're gonna put them back and we're gonna go and switch to our next bait. Super excited to keep going. Thank you so much for biting. See you later. All right, so we slayed with the, uh, the first bait. We're gonna go ahead and skip the word search for now. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one right here. This is the Lunker Hunt Prop Frog. Now, believe it or not, I have never used this. Now, I'm a big hollow body fan, and I don't stick with the kind of like fixed legs like here, but I'm gonna try it. I hear a lot of good stuff about it, and it came in this month's box. It is in, uh, it's three and a half inches, half ounce, in that classic frog pattern. So we're gonna go ahead and tie it on and see if we can catch some fish on a crazy, uh, Top water bite so it is kind of like a hollow body uh frog but it has these like fixed legs that spin i'm used to the uh the dangling legs like the original hollow body frog but you gotta try new things right so let's go ahead and try this out here we go long cast on the prop frog little snakehead <laughs> baby snakehead oh my goodness this thing was born like two seconds ago but first fish ever on the prop frog and there goes the snakehead shook off oh my goodness did you guys oh my god i was ready to move on to the next holy crap that was an amazing blow up Get up here, buddy. Stop messing around. You guys, <laughs> I was literally, I think my body was even turned. I was going to the next spot, reeling my frog in, and this guy crushed it. Holy crap, I love when that happens. Not expecting it. Look at that. Man, did he want it or did he want it? On that surprise blow up, you gotta love those bites, you guys. Those are some of the best bites. I see something going crazy over there. That's where I was going. I've been casting under this tree, looking for bites. I guess he just followed it out probably like five or ten casts in finally he came and got it but i'm two for two on this frog i'm really really digging the prop frog like i said it's my first time and i'm liking it a lot got this bass see you later buddy that's a nice one. Oh my god oh my goodness that is the first fish i missed that was a giant snakehead oh my god i saw his whole entire body come out of the water he was deep 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 in those those brush oh my gosh i was doing so well with the hookup ratio on this thing because of this trailer that was the first miss i can almost guarantee you he's not there but i'll try see if he's back there there we go long cast all the way out there a large mouth second largey on the prop frog get up here little guy definitely uh definitely smaller than our last bite i can almost guarantee it on that trailer see that's why i'm digging this thing i know i'm late on the party but this is my first time using it and that trailer gets him he didn't even come on the main hooks he got it on the trailer and we didn't lose him that time but this little guy ripped his lip a little bit sorry about that buddy see you later the prop frog is definitely dope. Lunker Hunt prop frog, A plus for me. First time using it, I absolutely love it. Definitely, definitely will pull this out again. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next bait in the box. We caught like three fish, missed a couple fish. This uh, hookup ratio is pretty, pretty good. I might use this instead of some hollow body sometimes. But we have a couple more baits in the box to finish our challenge. So let's go ahead and see what's next. All right, so the next lure we're gonna use I guess we'll stay on the topwater tip for now. We're gonna use the Weston Duck. Danny, of course. We have used this before. I do love Danny, but the hookup ratio on Danny isn't so great. So 
we're gonna try it yet again it was in this month's box so we're gonna tie them on hopefully we do better than we have in the past but uh here we go Gosh, hey Sean, you guys. I think it's a big snake. Got him in this muck. Medium snake, just full of trash. Get up here. Woo! Man, that took a lot of work. Using Danny the duck, he was in all this crap. I don't know what this is. It's just like algae pulled up, pretty much just garbage. And these guys love sticking themselves into it. They get super close to the bank really really deep in that stuff and you just gotta get in it and there he was he absolutely exploded on it that was an awesome take all right well there he is pretty snake a little bit of blue in him nice bullseye right there this guy took a long time to get but we did power through and get one on the duck not too bad we're gonna switch to the next bait hopefully we get some bigger ones all right so the next bait we're going to use in the box we're gonna try the big bite baits uh swim baits here i believe they're just in shad it's like kind of like a translucent clear and these are also in the box the mustad 40 soft plastic hooks we're going to pair them up with these swim baits and fish like subsurface we're going to tie this on and we're almost done with our challenge we've been doing great so far so let's continue the greatness there we go little guy on the swim bait actually not so little decent bass just cruising this thing subsurface super slow and we got him by the skin of his mouth right there barely hooked check this out barely hooked nice fish I'm gonna let him go probably like a know, pound and a half pushing two on the big bite bait swim bait that's number one try and get one more before we switch to our last and final bait for the day there we go number two on the swim bay another little snakehead baby baby snakehead he was hiding in that little that little corner over there with all the bushes and dirty stank ass water this guy loves till in there little guy like a two month old one super small really pretty though when they're young the spots on them are so white very very defined definitely not the bigger snakehead we were looking for obviously but we're losing daylight very very quickly so we want to finish this challenge out strong so we caught two on this which is pretty damn good we're going to switch to our last and final bait which is the jig all right so last and final bait in the box that we are going to use this box is a mess but it is somewhere here it is the z-man get off the z-man cross eye power finesse jig three eighths ounce and we're going to match that up with the Lunker City Fishing Specialties Craw and Green Pumpkin. So that should be a good duo together. This craw, ooh, those things stink. They're scented pretty well. Look at this craw. This is actually really nice. All little arms and tentacles coming off and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and match this up with the jig. Try and catch a few before the sun goes down completely. And I would say that is a challenge complete. Oh, there we go. Little fish on the jig. There goes my craw. Definitely wasn't worth this little baby. Oh my god, this thing is so tiny. But we'll count it. One on the jig. Closing off the day. Little guy. Smallest fish of the day. But we'll take them anyway. See you later. All right, you guys. Well, that is going to do it for me. I am running out of sunlight. Probably got about 10 minutes left. We caught one on the jig. Probably could have caught more. But we're going to call it. Challenge is definitely complete. We had a fantastic day. We caught a ton of fish on every single lure in the box now if you guys didn't hear me at the beginning of the video definitely check the links in the description below to get your very own mtv box for just five dollars this is probably well over thirty dollars of baits for just five bucks if you click the link in the description it is definitely worth it you're gonna have a ton of fun check the links below as always everyone thank you so much for watching liking commenting and subscribing and until next time i will see you later peace